Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Craig and as you know, I am documenting my journey on becoming a certified professional in talent development. Now, I just started this journey a couple of days ago because I came across an email that was from the Association for Talent Development saying, if you sign up, we're going to give you all these free resources, about $600 in resources, and the examination's only $900, so a great opportunity. And by the way, um, they've extended the deadline for this, so if you're still on the fence about signing up, I, you have until the end of this week to do so and grab these great resources. Now, I don't want to be doing videos every day on this, uh, but I came across a couple of things that I think are so important I want to share them right away, so I'm producing this video. And as you know, I am documenting this journey on my blog, which is at craigingstream.ninja forward slash cptd. And essentially all that I am doing is sharing my notes from what I'm studying every day. So I'm going through some things and, and posting them on this website. This is not going to be anything that is like summative. I'm not providing a lot of analysis. It's essentially just my notes. So with that said, I'm actually pretty happy that I came across another resource from somebody and her name is Brandy with an I, Maynard, and you can see here this is her LinkedIn, so you might want to reach out to her, but as you will see, she has been documenting and created a community already of people who are engaging and studying together. So I actually think that this is another thing that I'm going to be participating in um, in order to accelerate my journey, and as you can see, they're already on day 26, which means that I'm getting a late start, as I've indicated. And if I click on this, you can see that they've got the study group going on. I don't know, again, I'm, I'm short on time, so I can't do the study group as intensely as some of these folks might be. But they're not messing around. They are producing some really good content here and even breaking up like items so that they can, you know, essentially do things constructively together. So I wanted to share this resource because I just think it's absolutely amazing and it's going to be yet something else that you can add to your toolkit of studying and I would highly recommend this one. Again, all that I'm doing is posting my notes and it seems to me that they're actually having dialogue and so forth, so that's going to be much more valuable if that's the way you study for sure. Okay, something that will be valuable to you as you prepare for the examination is this talent development body of knowledge and it actually is one of the free resources that comes with signing up for the exam if you do it by the end of this week and I highly recommend that you get it. Now I would actually bookmark this page because I was having trouble finding it in my ATD portal but once you have it there and bookmarked then you can always come back to it. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue reading and as you can see here it kind of takes you back to where you last were um, but what's nice here, as you can see, is they divide all of the domains up that you're going to be studying. So the personal capability, professional capability, and organizational capability are all right there. When you click on this, it actually covers the sort of subcategories that you'll be studying and even gets further down into the various skills or uh, areas of knowledge. So not all of these are necessarily tested, but what I do like about this resource is it's a crash course in some of the important concepts, and it's not very long, so you can actually begin your day by reading, I think, a section of this. One thing that I think is super valuable, and that's why I wanted to produce this video, is this thing called flashcards. So just so you know, though, you can search, you can take notes, you can actually highlight information. There's these like highlighters down here, and so forth, but for me, one of the things I think are going to be most valuable is the flashcards, and you can already see that I've created two categories, evaluation and communication. Now you can create categories in any way you want, um, or decks, excuse me, in any way that you want. So for example, you could do one by domain, you could do one by subcategories of domain, whatever you think will be important for you or useful for you. Now for me, um, you can see I already have communication flashcards developed, and they're super easy to make, which I will show you. But one of the reasons that I already have evaluation, even though I'm not necessarily studying that yet, is that is an area that I know that I need to personally amp up on. So I'm actually already creating some content from on evaluation. And how I sort of got to this is, let's say I'm reading along and I see something that I want to learn more about. So let's see the, um, 
1.2 here. And if I click on that, it'll actually take me to this image. And I can save images and flashcards and so forth. But let's say that there's something about emotional intelligence that I want to remember. So I can just highlight this. You could say emotional intelligence is important. So again, I can highlight, I can add notes, but I can also create a flashcard. And here I can add a new deck, or let's just say I want to add this to communication because there was some kind of connection between communication and emotional intelligence. And I can create that. And it automatically saves the text that I've highlighted here. And then I can write something on the back of the card that I want to remember or study. So that's just illustration on the fact that you can highlight and create. So some of the things that I did was sort of highlight in the text that, or ask questions, what are the six C's of communication? And then I just wrote down what the six were so I can actually study and try to commit these to memory. Now the exam is not going to ask those kinds of questions of just, you know, what are the six C's? But it is helpful to remember that, for example, clarity is important. So if an exam question happens to give you a scenario and the scenario points to the issue is lack of clarity, that I can actually draw upon that information that I have about, oh, yeah, that is one of the important components of good communication because they might have distractors in the, qu in the quiz or in the examination that um, are similar. And I need to be clear that it's clarity, for example. So on the evaluation, for example, one thing that I've been doing is actually adding some of the content from my study notes. So as you can see here, I knew that evaluation is some category that I need to beef up on. And so I actually pulled some notes about Kirkpatrick's four levels. And I want to commit Kirkpatrick's four levels to memory. So in the workbook, I actually created a flashcard. What are the four levels? Of you know, for evaluation, and then I can try to remember those and then click on it because one of the things that'll be a, definitely a question on the exam, I'm certain of it, will be, you know, giving a scenario and asking where should the talent development professional sort of like do some, what evaluation should they do? And it will deal with probably Kirkpatrick. So I want to get um, sort of amped up on that knowledge. So I just think these flashcards are super cool, really easy to make. Again, you can click add a flashcard deck, create a deck for that. If you're in one of them, you can actually add a flashcard. Once you've created them, you can play through. And finally, you can highlight text. And from there, create a flashcard and add content that way. So just a really cool resource to recap again then. You want to follow Brandy's blog, join the community there, and study with them. Um, I'm going to be going through all of the days and get caught up. You want to use the talent development body of knowledge. And finally, if you're so inclined, you might join me on my page where I'm essentially just dumping notes. Um, but again, more resources are better than fewer resources. And there's so much information out there, sometimes just having a place to go and kind of get a quick glimpse of things. Um, in a curated type fashion can be a great way to study as well. So if you happen to like this video, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell to be updated about any future videos. If you're here right now for the talent development stuff, just note that what I provide content on uh, in weekly video uploads is things related to enhancing the, your abilities in terms of your efficiency and effectiveness at work primarily from a communication point of view. So again, I'm Dr. Craig Ingstrom, and I hope to see you in the next video.